So as you know, I'm a big fan of Microsoft Planner. Since its original release back in 2016, I've used it to manage projects and simple plans. But with simplicity also comes limitations. In a recent video on the channel, I called out that Planner had problems when it came to things like custom fields to track information that simply you couldn't track on a normal Planner task. It couldn't do resource management very well. It certainly didn't support subtasks and a timeline view was certainly missing. But now Microsoft must have been listening because in a recent announcement at Ignite, they're gonna overhaul Microsoft Planner. And in a new Planner experience, they're gonna to bring together Microsoft to do the current capabilities of Planner and Project for the Web under this new branding of the new Planner. So does that mean that Microsoft To Do is now in the virtual recycle bin? Well, not really. Effectively, those capabilities will continue to exist under the new Planner brand. And it should be a lot easier to manage our plans as we'll see later. But with these new project capabilities for the web coming into Planner, it's gonna mean we're gonna get capabilities around task management that we didn't see before such as custom fields, timeline views, resource management, co-pilot capabilities, and more. And I'm gonna show you how they're gonna change the way you're gonna use Planner in the future, so you're gonna get ready for that change, and also to take advantage of the new Planner when it drops in 2024. Now, of course, if you like this video and love it, hit that like button, but even better, subscribe to this channel to find more great content like this. So let's dive in to the new Planner experience and see what's coming. So the new version of Microsoft Planner is gonna allow us to create personal and private plans that are only accessible and visible to you. Yes, we had this capability previously in Microsoft To Do with our personal and private task lists. But now this simplification means we can use the planner capabilities to manage these plans without giving access to anybody else. But equally, the good news is you'll be able to share these plans later on. Yes, when your plan is done and ready to go, you can optionally share it with a group or Microsoft team or other people in the organization, very simply through Planner. That is simplifying the way we're gonna share plans and removing that complexity we had previously with Microsoft To Do. And not only that, the Planner app also provides the same capability, showing things like flagged emails, where tasks have been assigned to you and more. And one of the limitations of Microsoft Planner has always been the ability that you can't add custom fields or columns of data. You can only use the set structure we had inside a Planner, but not anymore. Planner Premium now allows us to capture additional fields. We can choose things like the field type and pre-select values as well, meaning we can be more flexible in terms of how we're gonna track and manage our tasks inside of our plan. So using Planner Premium, we can now allocate tasks to goals. So in your plan, if there's a particular goal you're trying to achieve, you can allocate tasks, track progress against them, and also identify where the blockers are on any particular task that's gonna prevent you hitting that goal deadline date. So it's a great way to bring your tasks into line and focus on your project goals. And some of the biggest changes in the new Planner Premium come from the ability to see a new timeline view. We can actually see the critical path of our project plan and identify visibly all the interdependencies that are also gonna move forward and help us finish on our given project plan. But also in addition to that, we can do better resource management. We can see how many hours have been allocated to particular resources in a given week and understand where there are resource issues, such as over allocation of people's time. Equally, if your resources are only working on your project for a few days, you can change that in the plan settings and allocate only a specific amount of hours and even total the amount you've spent so far. In addition to that, you also now have the ability to open version control and look at the changes that are made on your tasks. Something we just couldn't do previously in Planner we're trying to understand what changed, generally meant we had to comment on that task. And if you need to chat with your colleague on how that task is moving forward, well, there's a simple button to open up a chat in Teams and begin having a chat on that task and get it progressed. So let's take a bit of a breather. And I'd love to tell you more about your 365 coach because we're dedicated to turn you into a productivity superstar 
when it comes to using the apps in Microsoft 365. So whether you, your team, or your business need additional training or coaching, you can check out more on our website. And not only that, there's even a link to download a free Microsoft 365 ebook to learn even more about the tools that you have at your fingertips. As I mentioned earlier, task dependencies are now in Planner Premium. That means we can now open up our plan and we're able to also add dependencies for any given task. And it also automatically can calculate the given timeframes when we then bring in those lead or lag times. And once again, you can set those lead and lag times directly in your task. So those dependencies and subtasks will be clearly noted in your plan and able to be tracked through the timeline. But it wouldn't be Microsoft without some Copilot. And inside a Planner Premium, you can take advantage of Copilot capabilities. That can also start with able to a new project plan. In this example here, we can ask Copilot to create us some tasks for our new project. And it'll go ahead and create a number of tasks for us that we can begin to allocate and bring in to our own project plan. Equally, outside of that, we can do things like resource management and understanding where the bottlenecks are within your resources. But also, there might be some subtasks inside of your project plan. Once again, you can ask Copilot to create you a set of subtasks for a given task and insert them directly into your plan. Again, taking all that pain away when it comes to managing your own project and also be able to start with a set of tasks that you can take and begin altering within minutes. So what's next when it comes to the new planner experience? Are you gonna sign on the dotted line and buy it today? Well, at least right now, you can't do that. It's released in 2024, and the new planner premium capabilities won't be coming for free. No, you're gonna to have to buy additional licenses. And that's likely to mirror the project for the web licenses, which is project plan one, as it's known today. That's around $10 per user per month. And to use Copilot capabilities, well, I expect you're gonna need a Copilot license at $30 per user per month to at least integrate with Copilot. And maybe $10 isn't that bad when it comes to managing your projects through Planner and using all the additional capabilities we've seen today. But I also wanna see better integration with Outlook. Planner and Todo have had some integration, but it hasn't been perfect and I think this is a great way, if Microsoft is listening, to improve the integration between Outlook and a new version of Planner to make it even better. Otherwise, I'm gonna look forward to playing with a new Planner when it's been released in 2024. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you think of the new Planner experience. And also, not forgetting to subscribe to find more great content like this. Otherwise, I'll be seeing you on the next one.